Hello, good day. So, path to a millionaire. Today I'm going to talk about the various statistics and explanation and general path that the majority of millionaires and potential millionaires tend to follow to achieve millionaire status within America and hopefully help you guys understand the financial path in one's lifestyle to eventually achieve one's financial freedom and goals. So, to start with, a millionaire status is somebody whose net worth is in excess of a million dollars, or otherwise is a calculation of your assets or what you have versus what you owe. Meaning, if all your stuff and all your assets and all your v cash and value is greater than, is a million dollars or more greater than your debts, which hopefully by then you would have paid off most any debt you have for security's sake, your net worth would be over a million, you would be a millionaire. Now, the number of people who don't quite understand what a millionaire is or how most people tend to become millionaires tends to be a lack come from a lack of financial knowledge whether that be lack of saving lack of avoiding debt a lack of dealing and actually investing in assets because the majority of people that become millionaires, or 88% statistically, 88% of Americans millionaires are first generation rich, meaning they started from pretty much nothing and built up that wealth themselves. Generally speaking, never having a career that made them a million dollars in a year or winning the lottery, which over 70% or 70 of those who win the lottery tend to go broke within a few years anyway. Even if they've won ha nearly half a billion, they tend to waste nearly everything due to bad financial knowledge. So, the general path that most people tend to make is as a go in their career, they slowly save up money and pour it, put it towards 401ks, Roth IRAs, and various personal investments. Generally speaking, a good idea is to put into mutual funds, which have a pretty, specifically you're looking one for ones that would outplay the market a bit, but still safely, and has a proven rec record of making, you can generally make about 12% average annually. And there are plenty, if you look for them and find them and know what you're looking for, then there are plenty who have done that consistently average over the course of many decades. Now, as I said and specified before as average, sometimes it will go down, sometimes it will go up more than 12%. It and generally speaking, though, if you are not invested in something that's going to go bankrupt or a very poor play, you're, or being devoured by fees in one way or another, which is usually one of the last things you have to worry about because the most important things to actually invest and having the money to invest, you can generally even in a temporary downturn like 2008 2009 as long as you ride the roller coaster and just keep putting more in then you'll be eventually you should recover and be in excess of what you had before which is the value and risk of financial uh, of investing so people making 50 60,000 averaged 
with starting at 30k or whatever or even below that working at a fast food place or a as a factory worker or some other position then they build up their career and build that up and continually put it into their investments and usually pretty passively by the time that they're 65 they are already if they own a home if this is the picture that they go for don't waste their money don't get in debt don't have serious issues that occur that they have significant trouble dealing with it's pretty common to have a you know house paid off for a car or two that is fully paid and then assets and investments in excess of a million that will make them enough income through investments to cover them not having to cover them not working and still live the lifestyle they wanted to live and had been living before so hopefully this gives you guys an idea of how most millionaires are made and how to build up and stay a millionaire to the ones who get to millionaire status and that is more, less about the amount but more about the financial stability and that whatever you have invested will make returns and continue to make returns therefore if you have give me a moment sorry about that so just continue to invest and continue to tweak that and they would be able to have enough to be financially free financial stable and deal with any hard times that were come and still enjoy themselves just by living on less than they make and continually just inc you know keep investing keep saving keep building and hopefully this helps you guys to actually set on the path of financial freedom and financial safety and if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And if you'd like to hear more content like this, feel free to subscribe. And have a good day.